lecture 11b entropy generation and we are going to have the related problem an air condition just got 5.1 kilowatt to the ambient with the power input of 1.5 kilowatt find the rate of cooling and the coefficient of performance uh, ambient would mean like the outside temperature or the temperature in which you are working the air condition discard so when we are talking about this discard of air condition discard of air condition is is qh and as it is in kilowatts that mean like uh, q uh, kilojoule per second uh, having a power input power input would be w dot and that is actually 1.5 kilowatt find the rate of cooling and that is q l which is actually with cooling which is actually need to be absorbed and the coefficient of performance so we have got qh we have got w so that is simple problem so ql would be equal to q qh minus w 5.1 minus 1.5 3.6 would be equal to the uh, rate of cooling uh, the coefficient of performance of the refrigerator is the heat rejected the, the heat which is actually absorbed by the uh, from the low temperature reservoir and the work done so 3.6 divided by 1.55 is actually the 2.2.4 is the coefficient of performance. So coefficient of performance either beta refrigerator or it is actually equal to sorry it is written as COP okay. Going to the next problem uh, problem number 8.125. A mass and atmospheric loaded piston and cylinder contain 2 kg of water at 5 megapascal and degree centigrade now heat is added from the reservoir which is at 700 degree centigrade to a water until it reach 700 degree centigrade find the work done heat transfer and the total entropy generation or the total entropy production for the system and the surrounding so this is there are different uh, different condition given in, in this in this um, question it's a like mass and atmospheric piston and cylinder so that means like we are talking about the piston and cylinder which is actually on the uh, under the atmospheric and mass loaded so it is moving in a constant pressure process now that piston and cylinder is having a, a water which is having which is having at two uh, which is two kg uh, and having a pressure of five megapascal and temperature of 100 degrees centigrade so let's have the condition one which is five megapascal and 100 degrees centigrade going towards the steam table so we will be looking at the uh, property of the steam table at uh, of sorry property of the uh, steam at pressure of five megapascal so if we're looking at the five megapascal in a saturated steam table the saturated temperature for the 5 megapascal is written as 263.94 degrees centigrade so that means our 100 degree centigrade is inside sorry inside the compressed region so five if we are having a temperature of 263.94 as a saturation temperature at 5 megapascal so 100 degree centigrade is in a compressed region so we will be using the compressed steam table and compressed steam table at five five megapascal. So five megapascal would be five hundred five thousand sorry kilopascal. So somewhere over here it's already written two hundred sixty three point nine nine. So we will be looking at the 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 value which is at hundred degrees centigrade. So at hundred degrees centigrade we would be having a value of volume, internal energy, H and ent entropy now this this would we would be using now now the next the next thing is like it's a like we are ha heat is added so the at constant pressure 5 megapascal the temperature is now increased to 700 degrees centigrade um, um, keep in mind like the the saturation temperature was 273 point something so that means like 700 degrees centigrade is now a superheated condition so we are going from the inside the compression region sorry for that so we are going from the compressed region towards the superheated region 
until it reached 700 degrees and finally worked on it transferred and now so now we are uh, in a superheated region we will be using table uh, for our table of the steam table or uh, the book table which is b1.3 again getting the value of enthalpy entropy internal energy and volume from the superheated table and using this formula using formula of the first law of thermodynamics and using formula of the entropy generation if you if you can imagine entropy generation was change in entropy was equal to dq by t plus something and that something was what we have imagined like it was the entropy which was generated if you uh, from the last lecture it was the last work so that mean like this is the entropy generation so putting the value in the above equation this one we can simply find the oh sorry for the work done sorry for the work done as the work done is the constant pressure process work done so we will be using the formula which is this one work done from one to two would be equal to pressure change in the volume v2 minus v1 so we have got v2 we have got v1 we have got the pressure which is five megapascal we can put the value in here and we can find the work done so the work done would be some value um, then we have got the internal energy which is somewhere here if there is no internal energy in your uh, steam table you can find the internal energy equal to internal energy u equal to h minus pv so make sure like you can find the internal energy from this formula so putting the both these thing we can find the heat transfer and heat transfer from 1 to 2 is equal to 6954.76 kilojoules now for the entropy generation for entropy generation we have got the entropy s2 and we have got the entropy s1 we just put the value of s2 and s1 in here we put the value of q in here we have got the reservoir temperature which is equal to 700 degrees centigrade over here so putting the value and we will find the entropy generated which is equal to 5.27 kilojoule per calvin moving forward to question 8.137 a piston in cylinder loaded so that it give a constant pressure so it's already given a constant pressure anyway we have got the mass which is 0 0.75 kg a saturated vapor water so we have got a condition in which we have got for, sorry for the so we have got the condition in which we have got a state which is saturated vapor state now at 200 pressure which is the pressure is 200 kilopascal it is now cooled so we are cooling it so the volume become half of initial volume so whatever the volume over here v1 over here when we are cooling it so we would be having a volume v2 which would be equal to v1 by over here by heat transfer to the ambient which is 20 degrees centigrade so this this heat is transfer to the ambient and which is that ambient is placed at 20 degrees centigrade uh, please check like over here it say like heat is added from the reservoir at 700 degrees centigrade to the water until it reach 700 degrees centigrade over here it does not say like it reach at 20 degrees centigrade but it say like the ambient is placed at 20 degrees centigrade find the work done the heat transfer and the total entropy generation so the question the the remain same but yes the condition are different using the same formula of the the energy equation and the entropy generation and yes we are having a constant pressure process so the work done would be equal to same work done pressure into change in volume so for the same thing we first thing first we would go to the saturated steam table and for the saturated steam table at 200 kpa which is 0 0.002 for 200 kpa uh let me check sorry 200 kpa is equal to 0 0.2 megapascal so in 0 0.2 megapascal if you can check on a steam table somewhere here 
So we have got a volume VG which is here. We have got the enthalpy Hg which is here and we have got the entropy Hg which is here. Now taking these values and just moving forward uh, for the next point which is point B we have the only condition which is given is the volume and the volume over here is the half of the initial volume why sorry and yes the pressure is also known so half of the initial volume is 0 0.88573 divided by 2 we will be having the pressure oh, sorry we will be having what which is equal to 0 0.444286 now putting that one we will find the value of x which is the dryness fraction or the quality so putting in this formula v is equal to sorry for that thing v is equal to vf plus x to vfg so finding the same vf and vfg from the 200 kpa uh, and yes we have got the uh, volume which is v over here uh, already over here so putting that one we can find x2 now once we have got x2 we can find h2 as well using the same formula h is equal to hf plus x2 hfg for 200 kpa same thing for the s2 putting all these we can find the work done then the heat transfer and obviously then the change the the entropy generation uh, when there is an ent entropy generation and then entropy generation is positive entropy generation so that being like the the process is possible or the process is a natural process but once if in any uh, example if you get the entropy generation as negative entropy generation so make sure for that entropy generation you will need to write down like in the, at the bottom like this process is not possible and the condition which are given is not the 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 proper condition you can check the pv diagram and ts diagram of the same question over here now moving to forward to another question which is question number 8.154 a mass and 2 kg of ethane gas at 500 kPa and 100 degrees centigrade undergoes a reversible polytropic expansion with an exponent of 1.3 to a final temperature of ambient at 20 degrees centigrade. Calculate the entropy generation for the process if the heat is exchanged with the ambient. It's also already said like it is it's reached to the final ambient condition which is 20 degrees centigrade um, in above example again uh, sorry uh, I did say like heat is transfer from the ambient but it does not reach to the ambient at 20 degrees centigrade so it would be same over here somewhere so if I'm keeping the pressure constant which is actually 200 kPa so for the 200 kPa, if I'm moving in the same direction, so inside the vapor dome, 200 kPa would be having a saturation temperature and that saturation temperature would be at the point 1 also and would be at the point 2 also. So let's go to the steam table, which is at, two, at 200 kPa, which is 0 0.2 megapascal. So we have got the saturation temperature, which is 120.21. So that mean like the state 2 is transferring heat to the ambient which is placed at 20 degrees centigrade but itself it does not go to the temperature at 20 degrees centigrade it's still at 120.21 it is only and only the uh, changing the uh, if i'm saying like uh, decreasing the volume rather than actually the temperature now moving to the next question it say like to the final temperature so now it's reached to the final temperature so if we are talking the about the ambient temperature we will be talking about the temperature which would be 20 degrees centigrade so remember this is the the process of ethane gas that means like we would be using the ideal gas equation um, ideal gas equation would be for the basic equation for the 
energy would be same. The basic energy for the entropy generation would be same. But yes, if you remember, entropy generation of the ideal gas was different. So we would be using the, the entropy generation of the ideal gas equation, which would be for S2 minus S1. Uh, the same thing, actually, uh, if I'm talking about the, the work done, so the work done is polytropic expansion. So polytropic ex expansion, we have got the polytropic uh, work done formula, which is P2, V2 minus P1, V1 divided by 1 minus N. So now putting that one, um, just changing into RT2 minus T1, or in any condition, uh, whatever the condition is, you can find different values from P2 by P1 is equal to T2 by T1, gamma divided by gamma minus one, remember from your midterm exam as well. So you have already learned this thing. So now going back to the question, so we would be having the, from the, from the, uh, from the first law of equation, we would be having the heat transfer from one to two is equal to change in internal energy plus work done. So change in internal energy for the ideal gas, if you remember, that is Cv delta T. Change in internal energy is Cv delta T. Cv for the ethane gas, it would be written or it would be provided to you. Uh, Cv for the ethane is 1.49, putting the value of T2 minus T1. Make sure these temperature are in an absolute scale, not in the the, the 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 celsius then the work done which was actually work done which actually you have taken from this one then you can find the heat transfer for the entropy generation use the same equation which we have derived very early uh, for the entropy generation in an ideal gas once you got the entropy generation in an ideal gas putting all these values in the entropy generation thing and you will find the entropy generation in the whole process i hope you understand this, this equation or this this question if you have got any question please let me know in your classroom and i would be able to answer that one thank you very much have a nice time